on how to color hair. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take this wonderful looking lady here and we're going to change our hair color to something more like this. Now, what we want to start off with is the quick selection tool. And we're just going to drag that selection across her hair. Now, don't worry about being too precise in this at this point in time. We just want the basic block of hair and we'll clean it up later. So now we go to Refine Edge, which you'll find just here. And we're going to select the Smart Radius tool and just pump it up. Now, the radius depends on the size of your image. Mine is not too big. At least I didn't think so. So not 45, maybe 17. That should do. Okay, so now we're just going to unselect the areas we don't want, go over the areas we possibly do want, and then we just want to take the brush over and around the edge of her head just to pick up those loose hairs that we can get. There we go. So we're just going to select OK. We're now going to go to Layer Adjustments tool and we're going to do selective color. Now here, we're just going to focus on neutrals and blacks. So if we go to neutrals, we'll start off there. Now this requires a bit of color theory, but as you can tell, just by moving the cyan, if we decrease the amount of cyan, we can get a nice, lovely red. But in this case, we want to go for a, quite a peachy, maybe pink. Maybe reduce the yellow so we want purple or increase it so it's more orange. And then the blacks control the lightness of the hair. So you can have practically no blacks so it becomes silver. But then as you can see here you start to lose the detail. So really you don't want to drop that. So manage to... Let's go back to that. So we're just going to maybe put it around, lighten her hair tone to about that. Deselect that bit. And now if we go to the blacks, blacks will, as it says, control the blacks. So here you really don't want to do too much adjustment. Too much and it will be overkill. But if, for instance, if you need to pump it, pump it up so it looks more blonde. And then you can even increase the amount of blacks or decrease it. But in this case, we kind of want to keep the blacks the same. Just not too much. And then there we go. You now know how to colour hair. And don't forget to check out our other tutorials on Photoshop and InDesign. Subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.